In my previous video, I had told you as to how much of harm the screen time does to our children. Okay, so now there are some of our kids who will not eat if they don't watch the mobile. Then how can you work on reducing the uh, screen time? Because these children, they have to have to have the mobile. They will not eat otherwise. And it can be a big challenge for the parents and for the kid. So in this video, I will sh share a few tips on how you can reduce the screen time during meals. How can you have a distraction free meal time? So first and foremost, if your child is the kind who has to watch the mobile when they are eating, let them watch videos of themselves. So take small videos of the child eating, drinking, sleeping, doing potty, crying, brushing, playing. So all that, play those videos and you talk to the child as you are feeding. So the meal time also becomes a learning experience. You can also take photographs of their favorite toys or the objects in the house. Play a slideshow of that. So as that slideshow is moving, you can describe that, oh, that's your ball. You catch, play catch with the ball, isn't it? Where did the ball go? So this way, go on describing the object, talk about it as you're feeding the child. This is one way uh, that you can uh, try. So even there, if there is screen time, it will be a learning experience. The other thing that you can do is have a toy or a book or their favorite toy or their book, hide it away and use that only when you're eating. So when you are eating that dinosaur or that car or that book comes out and they are playing with it, you are feeding the kid and then after the meal it's washed and kept inside only during the next meal it comes out. This is another thing that you can do. The third thing what you can do is you can start off with one meal a week. Whatever is their favorite food, have that food and uh, you can give it to them even if it's a little bit of sugar or a little bit of some other junk that is there. That's okay, a little bit, not too much. But that meal has to be had without a mobile or a TV on. So the food is something that they absolutely love. They are hungry, but there is no screen, so they will definitely eat. Then gradually go on increasing the frequency of this. So what you do is, say from one meal a week, you go to two meals a week. Then you go to one meal a day. Then you go to two meals a day. So slowly go on increasing the frequency. Then you say part of the meal at least, even if it is not the favorite food, they have to eat without the mobile time. So this is the way you gradually increase, uh, you know, the distraction-free meal times. You reduce their dependency on the mobile. And then another tip is try, to try as much as possible to make the child sit with the family during eating. Don't feed the child separately. So when you feed the child separately, you definitely have to have a distraction to feed them. But if they're sitting with the family, everybody else is talking, that itself serves as a good distraction. And sometimes they eat quickly. And it also helps in their social skills and other interaction skills. So eating uh, together is definitely something that we should try and do with our children. All this takes a lot of time, effort and patience, but persistence definitely pays off. So try it out and let me know in the comments how it goes.